Did you know that better jukeboxes, a new creative menu and useful horse breeding will be added to Minecraft before 1.20? That and much more will be added in 1.19.4 and in this video I'll be listing all the new and relevant changes from 1.19.1 to 1.19.4. Of course, most of the video will focus on 19.4 as that is the newest and biggest of these updates. My name is Magenta Louie and if you end up enjoying this video, then why not hit that subscribe button and help a small YouTuber grow. Starting with 1.19.1. Here the Minecraft chat got an overhaul which means that messages go through a secure chat system and will be marked as not secured or modified if they don't pass the rules of the system. This should make Minecraft safer for especially kids but it was a very controversial update as individual players can report each other for inappropriate messages ultimately resulting in a ban from all online play. They also added the Technoblade never dies to the splash text. Spell Catalysts now only drops 5 XP instead of 20 XP. And a Lays can duplicate if given an Amethyst Shard whilst dancing to the music of a Jukebox. 1.19.2 being the smallest of these updates only fixed issues with the new secure chat system. Now we get to the two bigger updates starting with 1.19.3. In this update they added spawn eggs for ender dragon, iron golem, snow golem and the wither. The spawn eggs for the ender dragon and the wither can only be accessed through a command. This update also added a ton of game rules like settings for how much loot drops at an explosion and how much snow will accumulate in heights. Of course, this was also the update to introduce the new default skins of Noor, Sunny, Ari, Suri, Makina, Kai, and Eve? I don't know. Sorry if I'm pronouncing this wrong. <laughs> In line with the including new skins, they added the splash text. You are valid. I'm glad you're here. You are welcome here. Your gender is valid. Contains infinite genders and made with lobby? Mobs no longer spawn on chorus flower or scaffolding. Spawners are now called monster spawners and they won't have a default mob in them so they can also be used as decorations. To prevent OP farms, endermen and weather skeletons now only spawn at light level 7 or below in the nether. Rabbits now always drop their meat when killed. And of course this is also the update where we got the new look for the Vex to match the look of the LA. Finally, we also got the new and improved creative inventory that makes it so much easier to find specific items in the still growing amount of Minecraft blocks, mobs and entities. This was also the first update to add the experimental features of Minecraft 1.20, but I won't cover those in this video. But make sure to subscribe as I also cover the updates of Minecraft 1.20 in separate videos. And now finally we get to the biggest and newest of the four updates, 1.19.4, because it surprisingly adds so much new stuff and this will probably be the final update before we really get into 1.20. First up I'll quickly mention that they've added so many commands and game rules and flag settings that are useful for creative worlds or map builders that I couldn't even explain it all if I understood it, which I don't. But if you're into map creation, then I definitely recommend you to go and look all of this up yourself. There's almost no restrictions to all the things you can do in the game with commands after this update. For the casual Minecraft player, the first change is the enchantment glint, which can now be slowed down and turned down in power, as well as less camera shake when taking damage. They've also added a new look to the UI that you can choose to put on, which has even a bigger contrast than before. It's not yet incorporated to the menu or inventory but should be later down the line. The first in-game changes are the jukebox overhaul. Now it will emit particles when playing a music disc and both droppers and hoppers can interact with it. The hopper will automatically take the disc when it's done playing giving you the possibility to have a constant music loop with your favorite discs. 
The Skulk sensor will now react to a lot more sounds than before, such as shearing vines, interacting with the composter, and much, much more. You can now also change armor and elytras by just pressing the use button, making it super quickly to change between your armor and your elytra. Potions no longer have an enchantment glint, so it's easier to see the color difference between them. Horse breeding is now actually a viable way to get a great horse. Before the baby would be biased towards the average, but now it will actually be a better mix of the parents, making your baby horses better and better when you breed better and better parents. Creating a new world now has a different look with three tabs. Game tab, world tab and more tab. This also makes it easier to add experimental features. And with that, we have now covered everything new in the 1.19 minor updates. In the past, these minor updates never added much other than bug fixes and minor changes. But these four has changed the game quite a lot. And if you want to know what Minecraft 1.20 has in store for us, then make sure to subscribe so you don't miss when I cover that update as well. Give the video a like and maybe even subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Check out the description for all my socials. And with all that out of the way, thank you so much for watching.